Hey guys and welcome back to the practical nmap guide. In this video we are going to discuss how to perform service version scanning that is identifying the service version number and we'll also perform OS detection that is we'll try to guess what the host is running as an operating system because that is crucial to developing a payload. What if you want to inject a ransomware into the host? Well you want to design it in a specific way uh, for Linux, you may design it a specific way. The file systems are different. For Windows, the file system may be different. And for Darwin, which is uh, Mac OS X, the file system may be different. So OS detection will try to guess what the OS is being run by the host. Okay, let's begin by performing the version detection of the services running on the ports. The command is to use the SV flag, S and capital V. This will also scan for the version numbers why do we need why is there an importance to scan for the version numbers the reason is because for certain versions the exploit are out there in the market these are known exploits and you can use those exploits to hack into the system or perform some other malicious activities maybe perform ddos let me just show you a really good example of what i mean by this i'm going to perform a service version detection on my nmap uh, on my metasploitable 2 device i mean the host and i will do it on port um maybe where it deploys 21 ftp let's check if i hit enter it gives me this one as you can see the port is 21 tcp the service running on this port is ftp and there is an extra field version and the version is also given 2.3.4 let me copy that to copy you will press press ctrl shift c and then you go to google now you paste it and then type exploit as you can see in the drop down it's already available there's manual exploit let us go with the exploit one and as you can see there are exploit available in rapid 7 rapid 7 and exploit db are two great sites where the exploits you can search for exploits so if i visit VSC, vsftpd on rapid 7 You can see this is in Metasploitable 2. Uh, we, we have not discussed Metasploit yet. Well, this is how to use this exploit and gain a backdoor. Backdoor is a way to connect to the host device and execute commands in them. This, this is a pretty serious stuff. You can get to, know, get to know a lot about the host. You can get to know about the file structure, the folder. You can Basically, you can control the device. And get more information by gaining a backdoor so that was the exploit and as you can see this is the 2.3.4 version and it is a known exploit that means it will work so if i were to exploit the my metasploitable 2 on ftp based on vsftpd 2.3.4 exploit that we just found in rapid 7 it will be pretty much hacked and if you look here there is also a service info given and the operating system is unix well, there was no reason to perform OS detection right away. Well, it just guessed the operating system that it's Unix. In our case, Linux and Unix, both of them are same. And my Metasploitable 2 is indeed a Unix. So that's how you detect a service version on a port. You can also mention hyphen P hyphen, which will scan for all the ports. Now, this is the output. I really used it to scan the whole port. And as you can see on the right hand side, it also mentioned whether there is an Avast antivirus present on there or not. Now, not to perform OS detection, you will use the hyphen capital O. So if I were to perform OS detection on, oh, let me do it to scale up, 10.0.2.7, now if I hit enter, it will perform only the OS detection. And as you can see here, um, the running Linux with the version is given 2.6.x and also the OS details maybe between 2.6.9 to 2.6.33 this is also really important as it may help in developing exploit maybe if you're you are running a you know an older version of Linux and there there is a pseudo privilege escalation which uh, which is an exploit you can use that exploit to hack into the system well by default the nmap also tries to guess the operating system running 
on the device. If you include the hyphen O flag, it will give you a confidence level about what the OS is. So that was about OS detection. Now we are going to also discuss the performance that is how to increase the speed of Nmap. As you, can, as you might have maybe practiced Nmap a bit at you know, on your own PC, you might have seen that the Nmap takes a bit longer to scan for all the ports. Well, what do you need to, what do you, what if you wanted to increase the speed of Nmap scan? Remember, when you increase the speed, there's a chance that you might get false positives, all right? But if you can well live with that, well, you can go ahead and increase the speed. And you can increase the speed by introducing the T flag and it takes zero to five. I would say the safest one is to use four instead of five because five will be extremely fast and it will obviously create errors. Use four and scan for scanmail.nmap.org. To cut the time, I have already performed the scan. And as you can see, without the option, it gave me the results in 55.33 seconds. But with T option, it scanned the top 1000 ports in just 36 seconds. So that's a huge, huge, huge difference in the scanning results. So that was all about service version detection, OS detection and increasing the performance of Nmap. Now, we will discuss Nmap scripting engine in the next video. And this is a way to automate some basic scripting or exploit identification and this is really important if you like to do stuff in an automated way rather than a manual way so we will discuss this in the next video until then bye bye